Roman Day. The Maya developed what is known as the capstone, that in the field of archaeology, architects use the term cantilever. And cantilever is the finishing of the capstone resting between the two inclined walls. So that's the capstone that closes the gap. And in the cantilever arch, there is a disadvantage, and that the reducing of the space inside the room, while the wall serves as the foundation, is thicker because it needs the support, or the, the uh, it, it is like the support for the mass material built above it. So this is the Maya arch. And um, this monument here is different. The ones we saw on display at the open plaza, those are plain, these ones are carved. So this is the face of the noble there. So that's the face of the king. Uh, that's the long feather headdress over there. That's the feathers of the quetzal. This is the jet hair spool. This is the jade, the jade necklace, jade wristlet. Get anklet down below, the right hand extended up, the dots falling down to the ground, which is associated with bloodletting, auto sacrifices. That's the left hand, the thumb, the index finger, and it's holding a ceremonial staff. That they call Kawil. Kawil is the one footed serpent bar. Part of his belt consists of suspended shells. This might have been the Pomesa shells that were also filled with beads making us sound like raptors chasing the evil spirits which is also what Maya people do today whenever they do uh, rituals around the site this is the spotted design of the Jago quilt which the Jago was a symbol of power, symbol of authority this hanging garment here, this is the incense burner that they use the, to cleanse themselves this incense burners tend to have effigies of jaguars or deers or some kind of sacrificial god in the scenes uh, but the, from the openings, from the eyes, from the from the ears, from the mouth that would be the smoke emanating from those openings and that would be also part of the nourishment given to the gods so here we see the glyphs and these glyphs are the ones that are normally damaged but if you look at the upper level there that's one that's two, that's three. The Maya used dots from one to four. Very simple. Bars represented fives. And they only counted from one to ninety. Three bars, four dots. And in the case of the glyphs here, this is the day, the Maya day sign, which this Maya day sign, we can call it Tuesday, since today is Tuesday. In the Maya calendaric day, this would be a how. Ahau is the holiday of the sun, followed by the month. The month is also covered with the green moss. This called this month May, since we're in the month of May. But since the Maya had 18 months in their year, so this is also the ending of the 18th month, which is Kumku. And Kumku falls within the month of July, between July and August. And we're in the fifth month of the year. And then the, at the bottom, is, there is a cycle glyph. And this glyph is, has not been identified as Katun. Katun is a cycle of 20 years. Let's call it 2014. But in Maya terminology, it was the ending of the 17 Katun. And there is a total of 20 cycles of 20 years in one great cycle of 400 years that the Maya call Baktuns. So that's the glyph of the Katun, and it's the 17 Katun when this happened. And this is the, the date of the year 771 AD. That's when the plaza was dedicated. Then here is the altar. There is a carving of an individual here. This is part of the face. That's part of the body. That's the right foot that, that goes up. This is the left leg, the left knee, the left ankle, the left foot. Those are the toes there. Two missing. So that's what they call an altar of sacrifice. That's what might have happened on one of those long stones that we see on this clay. So what happened here in the open